right. Hey guys. Um, so true confession here. I live in a tiny house and I have a junk drawer and this is it. Uh, now the big difference here between my junk drawer and probably your junk drawer is every now and then I actually go through it uh, somewhat regular basis, maybe every 30, 60 days and just kind of assess what's in here. And um, I guess just kind of taking a step back here, um, there's a uh, a good purpose for a junk drawer, okay? It's kind of the catch-all place for things that don't have a place. And the reason why that's useful is one, it gets rid of clutter, so we have a place for it to go. Um, it, it basically makes a landing place for a thing that has no landing place. And in a tiny house, that's really important to have a place. Uh, because without that you run into clutter. Uh, the second thing that it allows me to do is once I have put it in this place, uh, I evaluate it. And then I either do one of a few things. First thing is uh, I look at it and since I do this on like every 60 days or so, it gives me a good perspective on is it actually worth keeping? Because if I haven't touched it, haven't used it, in out of the here uh, in 60 days what's the likelihood of me using it in six months or a year uh, chances are pretty low um, and then the other things that it allows me to do is uh, you know evaluate it and determine is this something that I want in my life okay uh, now you know at, at that point I make a decision is this something that adds value uh, serves a, a main function or brings happiness, okay? Um, and then also, uh, it basically kind of uh, just gives me a test bed to, uh, you know, make a determination of does it deserve a place in my house? And most often, uh, the answer may be no. So, uh, the, really, uh, all we're doing is taking the junk drawer concept and applying some philosophy to it. And that's an important thing to be intentional. So we're just going to kind of go through my junk drawer. I thought this might be interesting for people. And kind of just determine what I want to do with these things. So first thing I have here is some little pads. And I use these on a lot of different things. I get these nice wood countertops. This is my cutting board. And I use these. And these kind of get grody after a while. And I replace them. So, uh, you know, I, I bought a big pack of these and what I've done is kind of reduced down the amount that came in it just to the ones I use. So, <clears throat> um, this is something that I'm going to kind of keep on hand as a consumable. Uh, so I'm going to keep that for now. All right. Next thing. Rope. So. These things, they're just little hanks of paracord and they're useful for little projects. Um, I kind of use this as a little bit of a toolkit, uh, to be honest. Uh, so, you know, I find these useful. I just used it today, actually, a piece of this for just to tie up something real quick. Um, so, you know, I'm going to kind of keep that again as a consumable there. Uh, let's see. All right, these are these uh, squeak no more wood floor uh, screws. And this is actually uh, a project that I wanna do, okay? So I purchased these because it's kinda cool. You have this, these special screws and this little flange thing here and you uh, go to a squeak in your floor, you put the flange down, put the screw in it, you drill in and it snaps off the, the head below the surface of your wood floor so you can uh, re remove squeaks. And I have some squeaks in the floor. So this is a project. So this is something where I purchased it because I needed it. I have yet to do anything with it. So um, this is kind of using this as an on like landing area for this project. So that I'm gonna keep that until I can do that. Uh, what else? These toothbrush holders. You know, I bought these, and I probably don't need to keep them. 
uh, basically there's three three of them here and what you do is you mount them on the wall and your toothbrush just clicks in there and <clears throat> I have it over by my sink so uh, I figured at some point they're going to be kind of getting grody since it's a toothbrush. <clears throat> so I'm going to replace it again. Here's another consumable. All right. Uh, batteries. So what are the batteries we got in here? Okay, that looks like it. So these are batteries for my uh, drills. So, and uh, I like to kind of keep them on hand here uh, just because, you know, little projects around the house or whatever. Um, it's not something that I, I want out kind of visible because it's not particularly attractive and a little dirty. Uh, and this one's for a blower, which I actually have gotten rid of. So candidate number one for trash. There we go. Uh, so, again, this is kind of a little bit of a toolbox item. Um, really what I should do is take this and bring it out to my tools and put it there. So that's what I'll do with that one. All right, uh, this is a temperature thing. Um, basically you take it and you shoot surface there. It gives you, maybe you can see that, the temperature, 71 in here. Uh, this is another tool that needs to go out to the tool shed. All right, what else have we got here? Little bits and bobs of hardware. So, th this is some hardware uh, that I have for little projects. Um, these are some replacement screws for my wall outlets and I'm missing one. Uh, so that is a current project that I need to do. So I'm gonna put that with this. The rest of this stuff needs to get taken care of. So what I should do, we're gonna bag this stuff. All right, so uh, these are bits and things. And what I've done here is when I have something like this that I need, uh, that I have extras of or leftovers from or something I put in this bin for about six months if I don't need it in six months then I toss it um, so these are still kind of uh, in purgatory right now so we're gonna keep them there this hex wrench I have hex wrenches I don't need it we're gonna toss that this is a replacement for my door um, it's kind of specific to my door, so I'm gonna keep on to this because it's very difficult to find. Uh, so I'm gonna put this with this stuff. And these are just little uh, pins uh, for shelves, and I don't need those at this moment. So these are gonna kind of go, again, to the hardware thing. Uh, okay, next. These are uh, tapes and some lube for different joints. Um, I like to keep this in here, uh, so this is the, kind of the place for this, uh, for when the door squeaks, when the cabinet squeaks, when something needs, uh, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that I'm, it's not going to bother me enough to go out to my, you know, places where I keep my tools, open it up, dig around, find it, uh, just to handle a squeak. So I keep this within arm's reach so I can quickly address it and, you know, move on. So I'm going to keep that here, you know, kind of consumable bits um, that I don't use that often. All right, so these are some LEDs uh, that I want to replace in my fan. Currently, I have just like regular bulbs. Uh, these would be much more efficient. And this is just a project that I need to do. So again, we'll put that with the current projects. Uh, these are something that I was using and I don't use a lot anymore. Uh, what I what it is, is it's a single, you plug in your thing, then you plug that into the wall, and there's an off switch here. Really simple. Uh, this helps for things that draw kind of phantom power. Uh, so I have these, and I'm not using them anymore, so they're gonna go out to the hardware thing. 
Uh, these, the little iPhone things, I've been, <laughs> been looking for these, uh, and because I, I need an extra one. So I'm actually gonna keep uh, one of these uh, for my bag, for my computer, one's gonna go out to the hardware bit. Um, they're just super useful. This is a, a grounding uh, thing. So basically, uh, items that I just need to ground, I can quickly do that for uh, like kind of testing purposes. Um, this is just a ground cable. It goes in, I bought this replacement plug and just only tied to the ground. So what I can do is if I need to ground something really quick, I attach this end to it and then plug it into a socket, which is grounded. And I can do that really quickly in the house um, to test and, and keep things safe and whatnot. So this is a bit of a hardware item. That's gonna go back out to the shed. Along with that is a little measuring tape. Uh, this is just useful for lots of things. I have this one specifically to keep in the house and this is where I keep it. So that's gonna stay. Uh, these, okay, so these are, let me see if I find them. I, I'm trying out this. This is a bit of an experiment. So they replace your shoelaces and these are just some extra ones. And I'm on the fence on what I want to do with this, if I like them or not, but this is a test. Um, so I'm keeping these here during this test and it's been going on for about a week. I'm going to see how they do in about a month's time. So I'm putting this here uh, as kind of like a reminder and holder place. So in you know, two months, I'm going to go through this again and say, oh, how did this turn out? You know, I, I may have gone back to laces or maybe be like, oh, I really like these and I'm going to continue on with them. So that is something I'm going to keep in because it is currently being evaluated. Uh, is a scraper. I use that pretty regularly around the house and that's something just I keep intentionally here within the house. So that's kind of like the tape measure. This is a little retractable. Uh, screwdriver it's uh, called retract a bit and they make bigger ones of these they make hex key ones of these and I love them uh, and they they just kind of like one of those old pens uh, so I keep this in here for little tasks again it's a little tool here's like a bigger one it says a bigger bit than that so I just keep that there and this is for adjusting my shower I've been kind of tweaking things on my shower so I'm currently using that so I'm keeping that one there the mobs all right that is the toolkit so what or the uh, the junk drawer so what I'm am I gonna put back in here uh, let's see testing stuff that I'm doing my tools oops And then consumables. Uh, these, uh, this is gonna go in here. More consumables. Okay. Uh, these two are gonna go in my bag. This is the home of this. And these are projects. So this is uh, kind of the refinement of my junk drawer and you know, it kind of keeps it nice and neat. It has a spot and now I got some room for a landing space for other stuff. Uh, thanks guys for watching and I hope this was kind of useful for you to understand, you know, what the purpose of a junk drawer is um, and kind of how you can be more intentional about it even if you have one. Uh, so this has been Ryan Mitchell with the tinylife.com. Thanks for watching.